The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the October 7th, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day, and let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but can't dial in, Stevie's got your back. You can send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And, of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical Marvelous Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Well, we're beginning our day with a uh, sea of red out there. All the U.S. indices that we track are trading to the downside. Dow's down 163, S&P 21, NASDAQ 99, Russell 18, Semi's 14, Tranny's 41, Gold's off 6 bucks, Silver's down 58 cents, Natural Gas is down 10 cents, 30-year Treasury is off 17 ticks, but we got Light Sweet Crew that's on the roll. It's up a buck 80, 76.16 is its current print. Uh, leading the charge to the upside, it is the uh, Scholar Rock Holding Corporation, a 328% move. Maybe that's an IPO. 24 buckaroonies out there. Air Products and Chemicals, 22 bucks. Oh, the three arm, the one arm bandit, 7.77%. Eli Lilly, 14 bucks, 1.6%. Generic Holdings, now that makes a sense. 1050. I do hope my generator kicks in if it needs to kick in, which looks like it may. That's up about 7%. MicroStrategy up 10 uh, bucks and uh, about a 6% move. To the downside, it's Everest Group, down 31 bucks. Yikes, 8%. Renaissance Holdings, 22 bucks, 8 percent. HCI Group, 19 bucks, 16 percent. Wingstop, 18 bucks, 4 percent. Domino's Pizza, 15 bucks, 3 and a half percent. So we got some movers and we've got some shakers. Let's begin our day by taking a look at that New York Stock Exchange Advanced Decline Oscillator. We take a look at it. That's going to be panel number three. We can see it is approaching. It is not there, but is approaching the oversold condition level, which would be at minus 150. Since it's not there, you've got uh, conditions really are ripe for price to move lower. What are those ripe conditions? You've got that advanced client oscillator. That's a difference between the 39 and 19 period exponential moving average of the advanced decline line. That is below zero. When it's below zero, it tells us buyers or sellers have the edge. And we have a spot fix index that's trading above its 50-day exponential moving average. That is shown on the very bottom panel out there. The 50 days at 1754. The spot is at 2085. Those are conditions that are ripe. Now, if we take a look at uh, good old Apogee out here, we can see that the key level to be watching, we've seen a price that moved down lower this morning at about 5 and 6 o'clock, what was also going on at that same time. And the ES Mini are looking at the upper left-hand panel, although it's not shown there, was a TD9 cal bottom. We've since rallied off of that right up into resistance. That's the uh, sell zone of its bearish structured profile. That exists between 5780 and 5784. No, I take that back. 5778 and 5784. 
The key level to be watching here, though, if I really get to it, is 57.64. If we start seeing close below that, we're likely to head lower. In the case of the NQ, the number is going to be 20.044.50. Now, price made a TD9 count bottom on its 30-minute. It's 60-minute time frame chart. We've got the 30-minute up on our screen right now. Price also running into resistance. It's sell zone. And its sell zone is between 21.67 and 21.82. But support is also held, and that's at 21.20 out there. Uh, the rest of these Goldilocks, I can assure you that 26.77.90 is a key resistance level for gold. Last time that we rallied up there was at uh, what time this morning? It was at 8 a.m. Uh, this morning out there. And price uh, ran right into that. And the buzzsaw, the sellers just jumped in. Why Apogee and Perigee works? I could tell you, but I don't want to start conspiracy theories. If we take a look at uh, silver, I'll tell, what I do know is it works, and we pay attention to it. In the case of silver, uh, 3207 is this Apogee pivot point. Lights we crew, we're not even going to worry about it, nor are we on the U.S. dollar index. So let's move off of these screens and go move over to – oh, and before we do that, I want you to take a look at the DAX right now. So we've got the DAX up on my screen. It's only off by 18 bucks. I'm just going to open this up. Now, the DAX has a A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. That A to B equals CD pattern should take us to 2174. If, in fact, that's the pattern that's in place, which it is right now, and we take out its most recent high and price gets rolling up there, the uh, NDX 100 is going to at least go tackle its all-time highs. These directionally move together out here, and right now we're paying attention to the DAX, which is going to close in about 18 minutes. But it, is, uh, uh, it has been um, you know, trying to get to positive. Uh, quite frankly, and it's not that far from doing that. That's important for you and I to be able to watch this. In fact, let's go from this chart here. Let's go take a look at So that's the bullish side of it, is that price found support at that rising trend line. Uh, we'll see that rising trend line, and no, we won't see it on this next set of charts out there. So hopefully you, you, you saw that. I could draw it in, but we're not we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to take a look at Stevie's three panel sets of charts out here daily, weekly, and monthly. If we start with the monthly time frame chart, you can see last month was a confirmed TD9 count top. It completed the pattern. It was a bar following bar number nine. Now, this says what the DAX should do is get down to the 18,656 area. It's monthly oscillator and change line. You wouldn't really consider uh, shorting the DAX from any length of time unless you saw a monthly close below 18,656. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, there is no topping signal out here. A price is pulled back and has tested its green oscillator and change line. And as long as price remains above that, right now that's printed at 19071. This pullback out here so far that we've seen is nothing more than just a test of support, that being the trend line and its oscillator and change line support. We wouldn't get that same message if we looked at the daily time frame chart. The daily time frame chart shows a wave number seven uh, top out there. So that's taken hold. Price is closed below its oscillator and change line uh, for three trading sessions now. 19,174 is its next key resistance level. If price were to get above that, that would tell us that the DAX would go head back towards that wave number seven top out there. But right now, when we take a look at this, so this is the setup for the day. Maybe, in fact, if the DAX closes lower, maybe the NASDAQ does, does a little bit as well. But the DAX is kind of signaling that things are likely not to get out of control going to the downside out there. Now, can we just rely on that or should we take a look at the chart patterns? of the instruments themselves and i'm going to go with the latter let's take a look at the chart patterns of the instruments themselves now i'll put up the nq charts we get back from this break in about uh, 20 seconds that we're headed to but here if we take a look at the daily time frame you know you and i've covered this no more than a consolidation between profile levels out there uh here are the td9 count bottoms on the uh, 60 minute time frame chart and the 30 minute time frame chart this morning if price can get above those resistance levels right now it's going to be the uh well, let's call it the 60-minute uh, oscillator and change line. That level's at 57.85. If you close above that, we head to the 58.01 level. On the other side, we close below the lows of the morning. That's down at the 57.62 area. We head lower. Lower would be like 57.52. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, back folks. Uh, so we're taking a look at the charts here for the NQ. Uh, you can see, if you look at the lower left, you'll see the 60-minute uh, and 30-minute TD9 count patterns that uh, formed this morning. They certainly did their job by taking price up to resistance, uh, which are the oscillator and change lines or profile levels out there. My eyes right now are kind of focused on, so if we first take a look at it, and you look at the 30-minute time frame chart, price got right up to the sell zone of its 30-minute bear structure profile, and it did what it should do at that stage, resistance and sell to try to push down to support, which it also did at 21, 20, 30. So what we know here is we've got a key, at least during the last hour, um, we've got a key level of resistance to watch the upside. It's at 21.83. And to the downside, it's going to be at 21.20 out there. I also am looking at the two-hour time frame chart. 21.91 is a key level of resistance. If price can close above that, we get up to the 22.37 level, maybe 23.57 level. That would be the top of the NQ's profile. There was one of the reasons why I was taking a look at the DAX, which is only down 14 points at the moment out there. If that thing could get to a green uh, within the next 11 minutes, out there that could be a signal that we head towards that 2357 level but watch 2191 first so i think those are the parameters for the day to the upside to the downside to watch if you are trading the nq let's go to our first request we don't have many and i'd love many more out there you can give us a call at 877-927-6648 or you can send me an email steve at tfnn.com and inside that subject heading, subject heading, please put radio show question. So our first request coming in from ELO inside our Tiger's Den. And 
ELO, let me make sure I'm on the right chart, I am, uh, is uh, wants to take a United Health. UNH is the uh, ticker symbol out here. So we take a look at it. It is uh, got a new profile that uh, formed a couple of days ago. And right now, and that level has been tested. The level I'm referring to is the top of its profile. So the top of the profile, that's a potential resistance, but so far that has acted as support. So we're going to call this support at this moment in time, this being 589.11. If prices close below 589.11, then uh, what we've got out here is a, a move back to the buy zone. And that would be 50, 577 to 569 to 577 out there. The other area of support now, we've got a TD9 count top on the weekly time frame. Price pulled back. It did its job to the downside, meaning it successfully tested and rejected support. That being the bottom of its profile, 567. Couldn't bust it down, tried to bust it up. That's what it did last week. Randy resisted the top of its profile. 597.76. So we got a good old fashioned consolidation between those levels out there. It's neutral. We take a look at the weekly time frame chart. The daily time frame chart, I don't have any kind of a topping signal. Although getting back to profile, it's breakdown resistance level at 598.79 can be a top. And that's what it's proven itself to be thus far. That's why it's very important, ELO, to watch the top of that uh, profile that has so far acted as support. Again, 589.11 is that number. On a monthly time frame, everything looks more bueno here. A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. We're trading above all resistance levels out there. So the monthly long term looks bullish. The weekly chart is uh, as neutral. And the daily chart, well, just watch the top of that profile. So this could be day number two to the downside inside of United. United Health, excuse me, got a fuzzball. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> so let me just open up this chart here. So this will be day number two to the downside. We have seen, uh, uh, since it formed this top out here on September 4th, we have seen as much as a three-day pullback. So you should get some type of bottom today or tomorrow out there is what it looks like to Stevie. So hope that helps you out. ELO, as always, thank you so much for taking the time to put in a request. Uh, GTE writes in, would like to take a look at uh, one of his or her favorite instruments, and that is XPEV. And the question here is, should he sell at the top or hold for long? That's a question that you've got to answer, not Stevie. But what I can share with you is on a monthly time frame, price uh, closed last month above the top of his profile. We are trading above it this month. That's 11.43. You have a profile change in trend on the monthly time frame. That's not telling you to sell longer term. If you take a look at the weekly time frame chart, you're at bar number seven this week. You had a nice, huge rally. I don't see any resistance out there. We haven't taken out last week's lows out here. So that's not a signal to tell you to sell. If you look at the daily time frame chart, you've got a TD9 count top. That TD9 count top is taking price back to its oscillator and change line. It did that last week. But right now, what this is dealing with out here is its profile. And you have profile support between 1147 and 1191. You have profile resistance that was tested earlier this morning. It is held. That's at 1323. So you've got a TD9 count top with a consolidation basically with inside his profile levels out there. Uh, the weekly still is bullish. The monthly is bullish out there. That's a choice that you've got to make whether you want to sell the top or hold the longs. I don't know what your strategy was when you got into it out here. But again, the weekly and monthly look uh, muy bueno. If we take a look at your next request out here, that was to take a look at EWH. I think that was the same question whether you should hold or sell these. So if we take a look at EWH, EWH. H is the Hong Kong um, yeah the Hong Kong ETF out here so um, I can share with you when I took a look at the I can't put up the Hong Kong exchange right now because it uses a different data feed. But I remember, I mean, I look at it every morning to provide that information to subscribers out there. And, and my recollection is that is not in the cell. So the EWH right here shows that we're in bar number nine. Let me see if there's any way and I can do that. Um, I'll try it during a break out there is what I'll do is I'll try to pull up the uh, the Hong Kong exchange out here. So, yeah, if we're just trading off the EWH, here's its signal information. Today is going to it's going to go ahead and confirm a TD9 count top today. It'll complete that pattern tomorrow. And that suggests a pullback to support, which would be in 1907 and 1924. Now, again, that pattern will not complete until tomorrow. On a weekly basis, you will likely go ahead and confirm a TD9 count top this week, complete that pattern next week. The monthly chart is above all resistance. That suggests to move to 2107. So 
Do you sell the top? Do you hold again? You know, it's, uh, you've got to make that decision yourself. Do we have, if I take a look at the TD9 count, so let's do this here. Sometimes on some instruments, uh, certain patterns just don't seem to be, they seem to be more random and don't uh, provide a great uh, top or bottom signal out here. So let's take a look at the last TD9 count top. Now that last TD9 count top, formed out here on the trading day of September 24th. Now, price remained above that green oscillator and change line, and that would be a reason, you know, to give pause to selling out there. Do you want to take the hit from 2002 down to 1907? You know, I don't know where you got in, what your uh, what your trading plan was out there, uh, but that would be a signal was pulled back towards that 1924 level. Uh, another TD9 count top did take place out here on August 27th, and uh, it was negated just a few days later. So, you know, that, here's a TD9 count bottom. That really didn't hold. Here's another TD9 count bottom. Worked for about five trading days out there. Um, and that's pretty much all that I've got for you. So uh, what I'll do is during this break, we're going to go to a break here in about 15 or 20 seconds out there. I'll see if I can pull up the uh, Hang Seng so you can see w if it's giving us the uh, similar type signals out there. Now, we won't have any profile levels, but that's OK. We'll be looking to see what its TD9 counts are. So, folks, Steve Rhodes with TFNN would love to hear from you at 877-927-6648 or uh, send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. We'll be right back. wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, 
you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, uh, folks. So here's my international charts we take a look at each morning. Now, the Shanghai Index is, has been closed. I don't know when they reopen for holiday. When they do, though, they're going to go ahead and confirm a TD9 count top, and then the following day they will complete that pattern. And that suggests that we could see, could see pretty decent retracement. Uh, and so on the Hang Seng out there, I was correct on that. It does not show similar patterns to EWH. Now, uh, GT, you're going to have to do the work yourself. I don't know if the uh, if the EWH is really a representation of the Hang Seng or it's some other Hong Kong ETF and has different holdings out there. But what I can share with you is that on the Hang Seng, there is no topping signal and it is very likely to continue to move higher. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks as always for your request. Let's take a look at our next request. It's coming in from um, McGuppy inside the Tiger's Den. It's Duke Energy, D-U-K is the uh, ticker symbol. That's not the set of charts. We'll get there in a moment. And uh, D-U-K, and the question is, first question is 104 in the uh, picture out here. And I would say 106.95 is in the picture according to the daily time frame chart out there. Um, and uh, so, so you've got that level. So that's one possibility. We're not going to get down to 104. We've got a TD9 count top on the weekly. No, now, the daily's got a Rhodes Mentum indicator top. And um, no way to be equal CD pattern to the downside. This retracement here on September 24th was too much of a retracement back towards that high. So we won't have that. All we've got is TD9 count breakout support at 106.95. So the daily says 106.95, but we're not going to get to 106.95 unless price is able to close through the bottom of its weekly profile. That's at 111.74. So 111.74 right now, it's being tested this week. Well, it's being tested today, uh, and that's the area to be watching. If price closes below that, then 106.95 comes into play. If price were to close below 106.95, then 100.03 comes into play. That certainly gets you to your 104. On the monthly time frame, you completed a TD9 count Rhodes Mentum indicator top uh, last month. Prices are uh, getting some follow through. We're trading lower. That suggests a pullback towards 105 gets us closer. Now, the 105 number is going to change over time as price moves lower. So, yeah, maybe the 104 ish area. So, right now, it's all about McGuppy. It is all about the uh, 111. 74 level, the bottom of its weekly profile. That's what you need to watch in order to help answer your question. Will price get back to that 104 area? If we look at its daily movements out here, you are going to be in bar number three to the downside. Bar number three to the downside, even since the uh, top out here uh, that has formed, has uh, typically led to a two bar rally. So even though this looks like a once said lower, I would say if that weekly Profile support holds. You could easily get a couple-day rally before this resumes to the downside out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at Duke Energy. I hope that information provided you with assistance. You're asking for buy zones. Right now, I don't have a zone. I just have the price target of those TD9 count breakout levels, of course, the bottom of the weekly profile. But because of the daily price behavior you know, and the monthly tops out there, I'm not so sure that, that's, that the weekly profile support is anything more than just a temporary hold period out there. So that's my interpretation of the charts right now, McGuppy. Do hope that helps you out. As always, thanks so much for playing the game. Let's give Stevie a request. Let's go take a look at the ELO's request out there, and that's a take a look at Moderna. M-R-N-A is the ticker symbol. No bottom in, sign in, in, in sight here. You've got the uh, daily... Uh, uh, chart shows prices trading below its oscillator and chain i'm sorry below profile support above its oscillator and change line out there but it needs a bullish reversal candidate confirm a roads meant to indicator bottom short of that we likely continue to head lower now moderna this week is going to be muy importante why because if price closes below 59.62 well then you will have negated a weekly td9 count 
bottom pattern immediately tells you about strong momentum to the downside and that says that price should target 1353 now on a monthly basis we are in wave number seven to the uh, downside so this could be forming a wave seven bottom how will we know whether it's going to do that in the monthly time frame? Well, I'd say we get a clear identification of a bottom on the daily and a clear identification that the weekly TD9 count bottom is going to hold. So with regard to Moderna out here, ELO, don't know what your interest was. If you're looking for a bottom, I'd be patient. I'd be so patient unless this, we see some kind of significant rally. I'd be patient to see whether or not on Friday it's TD9 count bottom pattern holds. Because if it doesn't, we're headed lower. That's an instrument traded at $500 out there. I am not a fan of Moderna, but that's a personal thing. Let's go take a look at uh, ICE for Mohammed inside the Tiger's Den. ICE is the uh, ticker symbol. And Mohammed was just asking for a general overview. So we know what we've got here in ICE is what? So I'm going to start with the monthly time frame. Monthly time frame is uh, bullish. Uh, we're getting, we're not going to pay attention to that wave number seven signal that's up there, out there. So we're really in wave number three using the Chapman wave, bar number four on a monthly time frame. So the monthly chart for ICE is bullish, Mohammed. The weekly time frame uh, chart for ICE is a consolidation with inside its profile. It has a buy zone basically between 155.19 and 160.58. It has a uh, resistance at 163.71. So just a consolidation at this point in time between those levels. Now, on a daily time frame, uh, price was testing a prior Rhodes-Mintum indicator top. So it was testing that. That was from the trading day of September 6th. Volume there was 2.9 million shares, as this was tested on Friday as with 2.2 million shares. So it was a successful test rejection of a swing point with lighter volume. That suggests you want to bust it to the downside. Now, if uh, price remains above 160.43 today, that would be two days above Oh, it's already had two days above the top. I take that back. So the key level for support with regard to ICE, if the move lower is nothing more than a counter trend move to the downside, price will find support within the area of 159.44 and 160.43 out there. 159.44 to 160.43. 160.43 has been tested today and so far that has held out there. If price closes below 160.43, we get down into that buy zone. Anything below 157.97 would get, get us down to 156.49. So the monthly looks bullish. The weekly looks bullish, just a consolidation. And the daily right now just point back and testing a key level of support. So, Mohammed, watch that uh, top of that profile first. If price gets below it, you know what the other options of support are. Hope that helps you out. You also wanted to take a look at ticker symbol GLMD. I'm going to assume that's a medical stock out there. Stevie going really stepping out on the uh, at the end of the board out here. Now, GLMD, wow, this thing traded up at 24 bucks just a uh, – couple of weeks ago and it is really so it's really pulled back to its breakout level so this is a wide ranging bar about as wide as you get out here the volume on that breakout was a total of 98 million shares the uh, day before that the volume was uh, 414,000 shares we have basically pulled down into that area on a daily basis with a TD9 count daily bottom we come back from this break we'll continue looking at uh, Galmad Pharmaceuticals Steve Roach with TFNN we'll be right back spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. So we take a look at this GLMD stock out here. Um, look at all the accumulation that went on along here on the bottom. This is a weekly time frame chart. I'd say this thing was being accumulated since July of 2023 out there. And maybe it's still being accumulated. Obviously, something that kicked this thing off and had this gigantic, you know, bar that we were taking both daily and a weekly time frame out there. But I don't know that the weekly chart nor the monthly chart, if it's really helping us out, uh, that I can see out here. It does have a... Uh, Looks like it does have a monthly TD9 count bottom. But let's just really focus on the daily time frame chart out here. So, um, and because it's got that, uh, it's got that daily GLMD, it's got that daily bar with a gigantic volume. And it says that over time, prices likely get up to that level. So, uh, typically when you form a, a bottom pattern, this is the TD9 count, daily TD9 count pattern that we're looking at. The pattern should confirm this week. It'll confirm this week as long as price closes on Friday below 582. Seems like a likely outcome, but you never know. If it does, and 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 it also, or it could complete, it will complete the pattern uh, next week out there. Uh, I'm sorry, not next week on Wednesday, on Tuesday. Stevie, get your blank together out here. Okay, this is a daily chart we're looking at. So today's the nine count. Tomorrow would be the completion of this pattern. So when that pattern completes out there, Mohammed, that should take us up to its oscillator and change line, 628. On a $4 instrument, that is a, a pretty good uh, reward possibility. Now, where would support be? Well, on this instrument here, the last 10 days average true range is about a buck 78. So I would have my stop more than a buck 78 below wherever you would enter if you were going to take a long position. Now, what price is also getting back to a possible support area, what we look to is the intraday charts to see if there's any kind of bottom signals out here. Because maybe this is not going to actually bottom or form that pattern or complete that pattern until Tuesday. Days bar nine, right? Yeah, until two is tomorrow. But here what we can see is you've got a road momentum indicator bottom that formed at the, at the close on Friday. And since then, we've seen a rally. Now, price is still below resistance levels, 471, 480, 489, 493 out there. But at least the 30-minute chart has got a, a signal of a bottom. About the 65-minute time frame chart, let's see, what do we have there? I don't see a – let's pull it back. I take that back. This also has a bottom. This one had confirmed a bottom at 6, uh, 1035 this morning, confirmed a road momentum indicator bottom. How about the 130-minute time frame chart? So, you know, I use different time frames than other people. The reason is I like to have equal 
bars. So when we take a look at volume, we're matching volume to volume out there. So I don't use 120 minute time frame chart on an instrument that trades for 390 minutes out of the day. Just doesn't flow equally. On the 130 minute time frame chart, I do not have a bottom. The last one would be 195. So the shorter term time frames, we do have bottoms. That was 30 and 65. Uh, let's find the 195. There's 295 bars in a day. It has a TD nine count bottom. Let me see if price closed below it. 421. Close 422. And so you still you've got a 195 minute TD nine count bottom pattern that is in place. So GLMD is certainly giving you the signal that it wants to try to form that uh, bottom out there. So I hope that helps you out, Mohammed, and anybody else who's listening in that is looking for a trade. Let's go take a TLT for Dan from New York. Before we do that, Dan, we're going to take a pit stop. That pit stop is going to be taking a look at the uh, 30 year treasury out here. So we focus in on the daily time frame. And if we take a look at the daily time frame, on Friday where price stopped, that was its one to one A to B equals CD pattern. So an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Its next price projection level, I'm not going to draw it in on this chart. I've got a different chart that's open. I can figure that out. And that's at about the 120, 22, 23 level. That would be the 1.272 expansion area. We're in bar number four on a daily time frame, so there's no bottom there. What you're waiting for, what you're looking for, is some type of bullish reversal candle. Short of that, price is likely to go lower. Price is trading below its weekly profile levels out there, so there's nothing here to stop the 30-year Treasury from continuing to head lower. Now, I put this on the day trading type charts out here to see if there's any other signals. A four-hour time frame negated TD9 count bottom. That says we have lower price out here. 60-minute chart says you could get a bounce. You've got a TD9 count bottom. Rhodes momentum indicator bottom out here. Where could that rally take us to? As high as 122.06. I'm not saying that's where price is going to get to. Keep your eyes on the daily time frame chart. I don't see any kind of a, a bottom signal here. Now, even if we get a rally, don't think that, oh, Stevie missed that bottom. I may have missed that bottom. But we take a look at the 30-year uh, Treasury. It's a day to the downside. This is going to become bar number four. Bar number four, bar number five. Typically, we get a rally of uh, two days out there. So, uh, But uh, do I see a bottom, if that's what you're asking? On the 30-year, the answer is I do not. Absolutely do not. And it does look to Stevie like it wants even lower price. But let's go take a look at your TLT charts out there. The TLT charts show us what? Uh, you got an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside out here. The B point, uh, which was the trading day of September 26th, did 33 million shares. We did on a Thursday last week, 39 million shares. We confirmed an A to B equals CD pattern to the uh, downside. So what you'd be looking for there is a bullish reversal candle, but you'd really want to see that on the 30-year treasury, in Stevie's opinion. The weekly chart, we're trading below profile. We're trading below its oscillator and change line. That says lower prices coming at us. The monthly chart is now back inside its profile level. It's below 95.65. That says lower price as well. So TLT and the 30-year treasury looks to Stevie like lower price, but you could easily get a two-day bounce that starts tomorrow or the uh, next day out there. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, we had Ronan inside the Tiger's Den, wanted to take a look at Carnival Cruise Lines out there, CCL. As we take a look at it, what do we see? So on a daily time frame, Carnival formed a TD9 count top, took price lower, took price lower. We take a look at the weekly chart where it found support was its green oscillator and change line. Uh, now, I don't have any kind of a bottom pattern out here, but if price does close above its oscillator and change line today, which is green, that's at 1833, that'll increase the odds of a move up to profile resistance. Profile resistance would be between 1867 and 1909. So watch today's close. If you can close above that green oscillator and change line again, 1833 or so, that will be a bullish outcome to suggest a further rally. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart. What do we have here? We just have a, a consolidation. We got an old TD9 count pattern that is out here. This has failed. We don't have that pattern anymore. So you just have a consolidation with inside its weekly profile. Support is at 1723, was tested last week and held. Resistance up at 1903, that was tested a couple weeks earlier. On a monthly time frame chart, we do not have any kind of a topping signal on the monthly time frame, price above resistance levels. Uh, so just really trying to figure out how to deal with its most recent highs out there. We can see that I would say that a price is able to close above the high from the month of December 2023. That would be 1974. Then you'd be off to races uh, to the upside out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at CCL. Hope that helped you out, Ronan. As always, thanks for your request. And, and Bob in Spokane as well. Bob wants to take a look at ticker symbol ENBA. 
ENVX. So let's get that up on our screen out here, which we've got. And ENVX is trading out at 1187. It's got an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. It's got a TD9 count bottom. The TD9 count bottom is the one that turned into the A to B equals CD pattern. Looks to me like it is beyond the one-to-one -one price move out here. And if so, what you'd be watching for is a bearish reversal candle. If that were to form, that would gen generate a Gartley sell pattern. Now, we're well above the one-to-one -one level. I don't see any kind of a top in place at this stage here on the daily time frame. Looks like it wants to continue to rally. All I've seen here over the last four days is higher lows and higher highs. How about on a uh, weekly time frame, TD9 count bottom? Price, what it did last week is it closed just above, slightly above, the center of its polar structure profile. That was at 1183 and close to 1188. That's an indication to us the rally here is more than just a counter trend move to the upside. Be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, up, folks. So Brent in Martinez, California, saved the day he gave us our last request out there. Maybe we'll have a moment to take a look at the equity futures as well. Uh, but right now we're taking a look at, uh, this is, uh, I think it's called Hylion Holdings Corp out there. Ticker symbol is H-Y-L-N. Brent is in near the uh, bottom. He bought those TD9 count patterns. If you take a look at the monthly time frame chart, this went ahead and uh, confirmed and completed a TD9 count bottom back in November of 2023. It was also wave number seven to the downside. It was also road momentum indicator signal. Here, price is above the top of its monthly profile. Brent, that's at uh, 138. This should go target the 388 level. That's its CD9 count breakdown area. The weekly chart shows the A to B equals CD pattern. It has completed the one-to-one 
price objective out here. Now, it completed that pattern out here in the trading day, basically July 19th, very close. 265 was the one-to-one -one price projection, and that got up to 261. And then we had a bearish engulfing candle form. So that's got a sell the D point top that is in place out there. What you're really looking for is a close above the high from the trading week of July 19th, and that high is at 261. If you get a close above that, that suggests to move up to the 388 level. On a uh, daily time frame chart, there's an old TD9 count top rent that came in on July 18th. Uh, that high was at the uh, 261 level. We can see how price tried to take that out on September 27th. It was unable to do that. Um, not that that is a uh, top, but this also has an eight, you know, this uh, the same daily, weekly A to B equals CD pattern also exists here for the um, for the daily time. But that TD9 count is all we really need to know. So you need to see a close above. 261 in order to say the coast is clear to the upside. Now, I'm not saying the coast isn't clear. Right now, what you have is you just have a consolidation with inside its daily profile, Brent. And that's between the range of 225 at support up to the 253 level. So on the daily, again, uh, just simply uh, watch that TD9 count top. If price closes above that, you're off to the races. On the weekly time frame chart, the number that you're watching is all also is 261. So thanks for your request, folks. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully we'll be with you tomorrow. I don't have any idea what this hurricane is going to do, but it looks like it's taking a beeline to the West Coast, then to the East Coast. So Stevie is on his way over to Naples to shut things down over there. And I'll be back with you hopefully tomorrow morning. Take care. Be safe out there. And again, thanks so much for joining us.